السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. It is June 11, 2016. Ramadan 6. I don't know the year. And uh, the reason I'm making this video again is because of my son, Hamza. I met with uh, my brother today. And uh, he talked to me and said, "Oh yeah, you know why you think of that, and what do you think? Why you think of this?" <clears throat> I want everyone to please for a change, put themselves in someone else's shoe. Put themselves in someone else's shoe. And understand why that person would think or say the things that he said or she said okay again no one is explaining to me all my concerns or my questions or why things are happening and again I am not doing this because I wanted to say poor me, poor me, they did and they did and they did and the system and this and that. Wallahi, I am not. What I am doing is trying to bring it to the attention of the government and the officials. So changes to be made. I am not dictating to anyone and I'm not doing any harm to anyone except stating events that took place in my own experience. My own experience. I have been living this experience. It's, it's not some that I've been seeing. It's not some that I heard. It's not some that I'm suspecting or I am oblivious about things. It is life experience with court records events uh, communication social events and uh, court orders and everything else everything is real life all right why i am doing what i'm doing again and repeating myself because we could do better we could do better why i am doing this again because i am a muslim and i have the moral obligation to my creator if i see some that alarming and that's crimes committed against many people for no apparent reason it's just because to place them in the system and keep them in the status quo our obligation is to stand up and say that this is wrong and bring it to the attention of the officials. All right? This is to be a Muslim. If we understand our deen, we have to look into that. If you are complacent, you are a participant. You are doing the same, committing the same crimes because you, are, you, know, you know exactly what is going on and you decided to just be complacent because you are getting some benefits or what have you you're just riding along and uh, not standing to your responsibilities and, and fulfilling your responsibilities as a Muslim man or a woman okay now let's go back to my son Hamza I have not seen any police report I have not talked to anyone except the detective that uh, assigned to the case, okay, once, he returned my call once, okay, and he didn't tell me much, did not tell me much, and he said, oh, no, I can't tell you this, I can tell you this, and privacy this, and privacy that, and then from now on, before he called me, and after, it was just Everyone is trying to avoid me. Now, 
I don't understand why they think that they have the, the right to get away with all of this because this is all crimes. It's not violations. It is crimes. Not to... Do I have to tell you how your laws, the land goes? You know, you're talking like I'm, I'm so crazy and everyone, you know, avoiding me and not talking to me like I'm, I'm, I'm really bad because I am bringing it to the attention. It is our right that, that, that to find out and get answers. That's all I'm asking. Answers and someone to come and claim the responsibility and own it. That's, that's what I'm doing. I'm not trying to, uh, you know, to incite any, you know, in, uh, problems or any uprising or any other, no. Or uh, act of terrorism or not uh, being uh, cooperative and being uh, unpatriotic. Or what, it, it is not or terrorist, or ISIS, or insurgent, all of this nonsense. I am simply, simply saying that I want it to be the, the due process in everything that is in the, in the law of this country, st in, in the state level and the federal level, it to be applied. That's uh, as simple, as clear as it is. All right? All this confusion, oh no, well, we can't tell you, oh no, we can't. Be. Why? Why? From child custody cases, domestic violence, criminal cases, and uh, federal, and the state, all the state appeals that I have, and the hearings that I have attended. And uh, I am trying to bring it to their attention so there would be some done about all of this. And there is no one so far came and say, hey, you Muhammad Shaban, you are crazy and you, you don't have any, you don't have any proof. You don't have any, you're just saying things and accusing people and uh, creating problems and so on and so forth. Okay? No one. And no one will because they they got they got nothing there to come and confront me. All of the the UN just trying to find so hard, spending so much money and putting a lot of manpower on that to prove that I am a criminal or I am a terrorist or I am a abuse a, a, a abuser or, or a domestic violence case or, or you know. Uh, So for the, for the people, I do appreciate everyone trying to be kind and trying to be, you know, whether a friend or a family member or so. But please, uh, before you come and tell me, you know, things, put yourself in my shoe. Put yourself in my shoe. Understand from the, you know, from that point. All right? Where is everyone? My kids are not talking to me, all of them, okay? My little ones are being kidnapped. <laughs> Suzanne and Sumaya, these two minors, and their mom passed. They were born here. I am their biological father, supposedly. Where are they? Where are they? Changing my address to get the, the reward. And everyone is committing crimes. I, I, I can't finesse it. I can't be all politically correct and nice and, you know, sugarcoat everything. When it's, it, the fact is that these are crimes. They are crimes. And I have to bring it to the attention because this is my obligation to my creator. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Okay? My son, again, I didn't hear nothing. I didn't see him. I didn't sign for his release. I did not. I did not. I did not, nothing. 
And all they say, oh, well, he was an accident, he hit a tree and hit a pole and got ejected and this and that. Where is, where is the investigation, guys? Who saw anything? My son and his mom, okay, uh, trying, it's telling me, oh, well, you got to have and sign a release and uh, after that we let you see it. See your son. Really? My daughters and their aunt to come over here, you know, everybody. And it looked like you know, everybody's celebrating. I don't see anyone griefing my son. And I'm not trying to be judgmental. I know people can show their, you know, their grief in, in a certain different ways. But I don't see anyone, anyone caring about, you know, at least to have some some respect if they, uh, they say, oh, well, let's respect his wishes and so on. So there is no one so far. And no one can understand my point of view. I'm a father, for Christ's sake. I'm a father that lost his son and I have no clue what happened. And before that, there is many things that it, it, it trigger my suspicions. All right. So please, again, this is from for everyone, including the FBI. Where, where is where is the answers that I'm looking for? Okay, that's it. So for family members again, I do love you, appreciate everyone, and thank you if you are angry and you. You want to take a side like we've been doing all your lives and uh, that Baba is like monster and <laughs> right just to stay where you are and when you come to your senses and you realize that you you know uh, uh, my arms and my heart will be always open for everyone mm -hmm. don't want to talk to me now all right that's your choice your freedom to not to all right now, for my daughters and my son, please have have some decency when you talk to me. Don't 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 use foul language with talking to your father. It doesn't matter who you know what 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 do you think, All right? I don't appreciate it a bit. Okay. That's it. And for close family members, please you know put yourself in my shoe. That's all I'm asking. I'm not trying to be a, you know, difficult or not trying to be mean to anyone or disrespectful to anyone. All right? Put yourself in my shoe. That's all. Right? La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestow mercy upon all of us. And uh, forgive my son if he's gone. And keep him safe if he's still somewhere. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.